It's said that owning a home is the American dream, but for Steve Yu and his family, it's been a nightmare. The Yu's are facing foreclosure after having their home loan sold off twice, their on-time payment returned, and their latest servicer allegedly refusing to return their calls asking how to submit their first payment. It's a lot of stress on me and my family because we're always wondering, do we have a house to come home to or not? Or are we going to come home one day and realize we don't have a house and they're going to you know, ch chase us out. So uh, my, my wife has, her um, health has been declining um, just for, for the stress reasons alone because of the house. I can't tell her because if I tell her, she starts to cry. In the midst of this nearly year-long fight to save his home, Steve also suffered a stress-induced stroke, putting him out of work while he recovers from its life-altering impacts. I, you know, it's kind of put, put me back or put me in a situation where I didn't want to, which is now I got to do rehab. Now I'm having to um, relearn certain things which I took for granted, like speaking. Um, my s speech still is slurring. Um, it's frustrating. I can't think of the words. Let them have the house. I'm done. I mean, let them ruin my credit. I'm done. I don't know what to do anymore. This house is going to drive me um, to my early grave, and I don't think I can deal with it because I got kids to raise. In what seemed like a losing battle, Richard Sherman of Alta Realty Group stepped in to help. In any case, uh, right around the same time, SLS uh, sold the loan, which they're really not supposed to do, but they sold the loan to a company called Shell Point Mortgage Servicing, another servicer. And uh, despite our contacting them on a regular basis, and despite the fact that the uh, family involved had made their first trial period payment to SLS, uh, at SLS's only written instruction we've received on the loan modification, and SLS said, well, we sorry, we sold that loan and sent them the check back. Ever since that time, we have on an almost daily basis been contacting SLS and Shellpoint trying to simply get uh, an address or a protocol as to how they could pay their trial period so as not to fall out of the loan modification. Two weeks ago, we were told, terribly sorry, we were told by Shellpoint, terribly sorry, you have fallen out of your loan modification because you didn't make your payments, so we are uh, canceling the loan modification and we intend to foreclose on the 27th, which as it happens is today. It's, it's hard to tell your wife when she opens the letter and says foreclosure date to tell her that it's not going to happen. He's like, no, no, it's not going to happen. But, so it's been, it's been very, very, very traumatizing to, um, to us and even to our kids because, you know, we told them we might be moving and they're like, where, when, you know, why? You know, and we can't explain all that. Now, you cannot take somebody's house because of a clerical error. To be very clear here, the family was granted a loan modification. We have it in writing. We know the terms. They lived up to them. They sent in their modification payment. The bank in question sent it back. The new bank, the Shell Point, first said they don't have the loan. Then when we sent them a copy of the letter that we had from SLS saying they do in fact have the loan, they said, okay, we have the loan, it's just not in our system. After KHTS called the banks in question to request a comment for this story, Richard says he suddenly received the phone call he's been waiting for for months. And you guys made a call, and suddenly when they were asked to report to the press, asked for comment, all of a sudden it all got fixed. Now we're still waiting on some paperwork from them, but I'm confident we'll get it. And again, another good reason to get a third party involved, because if this were just the used family's word against the bank, the bank's going to win that fight, unfortunately. Uh, in most cases. But when you involve a third party, we have proof. We have documented proof of everything. We keep we, logs of everything we do. Every time we send a fax, every time we send an email, we keep copies of everything. So it's very, very easy to prove that we've been in communication with the bank. By sharing Steve's story, Richard achieved his goal of saving the family's home. And now he is encouraging anyone in a similar situation to take advantage of the free resources out there and fight. Most people, if, if, if a large bank is choosing to come after you, and they have multi-billion dollar, if not multi-trillion dollar budgets, and you're, you know, Bob and Susie Smith of, of Santa Clarita, how the heck are you supposed to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those people? And I'm here to tell you, you can do it. You can do it for free, and you can win. And we do it every day. I can't be alone. I mean, I've talked to some people, and I know a lot of people that's going through similar situations than I am, as I am. And I feel bad for all, each, each and every one of them because I know what they're going through. But I can honestly say, and, you know, I don't wish it upon anybody. <laughs> Melissa Lampert, KHTS Features.